everyone! Thanks for tuning in to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this Amanita mushroom hat. We're going to make an adult size and you can use any medium weight yarn of your choice. You will need about 180 yards or 90 to 100 grams of a medium weight yarn. For your base color, I'm just using an acrylic in teal for today. You're also going to want an additional 20 to 25 grams of a medium weight white yarn for the spots a four millimeter crochet hook, a tapestry needle is recommended but not required, and a pair of scissors. There is a written pattern available on my website at illj.com which includes details for four different size hats. I'll leave a link in the description box below for that. Otherwise you can just follow along and let's get started. Okay, we will begin with a slip knot. Insert your hook and just tighten that down a little bit, but not too much. And we will chain four. One, two, three, four. And now slip stitch into that first chain to make a loop. You can also do a magic circle here if you prefer. All right. Round one starts with a chain two. And that does not count as a stitch. And we will start by doing 12 double crochet into our center space. And this is US terminology, so that's a yarn over. Insert through the center, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over again, pull through those last two loops. So that was one double crochet stitch. Go ahead and do 12 total into the center space. Two. Now I'm also weaving in my tail end here as I go around. You don't have to do that, but it's helpful if you can. Three. four, And once you have 12 stitches, you should always count to be sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we will end round one with a slip stitch into that first double crochet. Make sure you're picking up, not the chain, because that doesn't count as a stitch, but our first stitch, pick up both of those loops. And do a slip stitch to end round one. And you can pull your tail here now and that will tighten it right up. Round two starts with a chain two. Now every round is going to start with a chain two and it never counts as a stitch. Round two begins with two double crochets in each stitch. And that means that first stitch right where our chain is coming out of one and do another one. All right, so go around and doing two double crocheting each stitch, which should leave you with 24 stitches at the end of round two. At the end of round two, you will do a slip stitch in the first double crochet to close off the round. For round three, we will chain two 
And now we're going to do two double crochet in that first stitch and then one double crochet in the one after that. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So we're doing two in that first stitch. And then one in the stitch after that. And just repeat that all the way around. This is the standard flat circle pattern that some of you might be familiar with. And so we're going to do that up until round 11. And if you'd like to skip ahead, I'll leave a timestamp for that in the description. But otherwise, I will take us through a couple of rounds until we get the hang of this increase pattern. And I will meet you at the end of round three. At the end of round three, you should have 36 stitches. This is a 12 stitch increase per round. So we had 12, 24, 36. Round four will be 48. And so on and so forth. So we close off each round again with that slip stitch into our first stitch. Round four starts with a chain two. And we're going to do two double crochets in that very first stitch. And now do one double crochet in the next two stitches. And we're going to repeat that 2 1 1 pattern all the way around. So do 2 in the next stitch. And then 1 double crochet in the next 2 stitches. Here's the end of round four. Should have 48 stitches around. And close off the round with the slip stitch. Now we'll start round five, chain two. We will do two double crochets right in that very first stitch. And now do one double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. Now do two in the next stitch. and one in the next three. And repeat that all the way around. And you should have 60 stitches at the end of round five. All right, if you have 60 stitches for round five, you can go ahead and close off your round with the slip stitch. And we'll start round six with a chain two and two double crochet into that very first stitch. And now we'll do one double crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. A 
All right, we're going to repeat that all the way around. So do two in the next one. And then one double crochet in the next four. So if you're starting to get a hang of this pattern, you can probably guess the next round will be two double crochet and then one in the next five. Round after that will be two double crochet, one in the next six, and so on with this 12 stitch increase per round. So if that's making sense, we're gonna skip ahead to round 11 and you should have 132 stitches by that point and I will meet you there and we will begin round 12. This is the hat after 11 rounds in what is basically a flat circle shape. This was a standard pattern for a flat circle out to 11 rounds, so that's kind of what you want to see. It's okay if it's a little bit like curled on the edges or if it's a little wonky, no big deal. We're making a mushroom and they're all kind of a little bit wonky, so it doesn't really matter too much how perfect or flat your, your circle is at this point. We're going to continue rounds 12, 13, and 14, just doing one double crochet in each stitch all the way around and closing and starting new rounds just like we've been doing. So go ahead and do three rounds of 132 double crochet, one in each stitch, and I will meet you at round 15. Here's the hat at the end of round 14. It's kind of a bowl shape with the walls curving in, but this is actually going to be the outside of the hat. So you can go ahead and kind of flip it the other direction. And you can kind of start to see the mushroom shape more when you do that. And we're going to continue on to round 15 with some decreases. So I'll zoom in and show you that. Starting round 15, chain 2. And we're going to start with a decrease and we're going to start again in this very first stitch. So yarn over, insert through that first stitch, pull the yarn through, yarn over and pull through two loops. And now we're going to start our next stitch. So yarn over and go through the second stitch, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and now we have two incomplete stitches on our hook, yarn over, and pull through those last three loops, and that is double crochet two together. And now do one double crochet in the next nine stitches. That's eight and nine. And now we're going to repeat that. So this is just like our increase pattern, except where we would do the increases. Now we're doing decreases. So we're going to do another double crochet two together. I'll show you one more time. So yarn over, insert through the next stitch, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert through the next stitch, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And now double crochet one in the next nine and repeat this pattern all the way around. So at the end of round 15, you should be back down to 120 stitches. We end round 15 with a slip stitch into our first stitch, 
which is also a decrease stitch. So make sure you're going right into the top of that decrease stitch we started with. Round 16 starts with a chain two and another decrease. So double crochet, two together. And now double crochet one in the next eight stitches. seven and eight and you will just repeat that all the way around so we're going to do another decrease and then double crochet one in the next eight so at the end of round 16 you should have 108 stitches round 17 same thing chain two double crochet two together and then double crochet one in the next seven stitches. And you should have 96 stitches at the end of this round. Round 18, chain two, double crochet two together, just like we've been doing for these decrease rounds. and then double crochet one into the next six stitches. And this should leave you with 84 stitches at the end of the round. Here's the hat at the end of round 18. Now for rounds 19 and 20, we can adjust a little bit for sizing here. Try the hat on. If this 84 stitch count is feeling like a good fit for your head, just do rounds 19 and 20, one double crochet in each stitch to finish off this section. Now if this is feeling like it's a little too loose and you want a tighter fitted hat, do one more round of decreases, so decrease down to 72 stitches, and then round 20, just do one double crochet in each stitch. So I'm gonna keep this 84 stitch count and just do two more rounds, one in each stitch, and I'll show you how my hat is fitting at the end of round 20. Here's how the hat fits. It's actually a bit larger than I thought. I made the same size in a different brand yarn and it came out a bit smaller, this one in purple. Now this can happen with the slightest variation in yarn weight or tension, so keep that in mind when making wearables. Okay, we just need to add on some spots to the top of our hat, and this part is really quite easy, you guys. So just like how we started this pattern with the 12 double crochet, that's all this is here. So just basically start from the beginning to and do one round to make the little spots, and do two rounds to make bigger spots, or three rounds if you want even bigger spots, but it's the same exact pattern. I will show you one small difference though, is when you are closing off that final round, whether it's one round or your second round or three rounds, just do a slip stitch just into the back loop there, like that and leave a long enough tail for us to sew around this circle. So I'm leaving like about six inches and then just pull that tail all the way through just like that. And then you just sew this on and this is where your tapestry needle is going to come in really handy 
If you don't have one, you can still use use your crochet hook. It's just a little bit slower, um, but it's definitely possible. So if you have a tapestry needle, grab that, and we will sew a couple spots on. And you can make as many spots as you want and put them wherever you want. This part is kind of fun, and you can be a little creative with how you do this part. Okay, so I'm just going to move those out of the way. Now, find your first tail in there, and we're going to pull that through the work actually with our hook. So from the inside, come up through the work and pull that, that first tail down. Okay, and just like we did that, you would do the same thing to sew this part on. And from the inside of the work, come up through the stitch and pull the yarn down through that first stitch. And then you would come down like this. Grab the yarn from the other side and pull it back up. It's a little hard. You can use um, stitch markers if that helps hold the spot in place while you go around. Otherwise, this is where you want to just use your tapestry needle. It's a little bit easier to just go down through the stitch and back up and I'm going like between the front two loops and that just leaves the cleanest edge from my experience and just go all the way around And once you've gone all the way around, you can continue to weave in your end a bit more. Just right underneath where the spot is, that way you won't be able to see that yarn. And I'm going to kind of bring my yarn back to the center here where my other tail is so I can just tie those two tails together. I'm just tying these together because no one's going to see the inside of the hat, so who cares if there's a knot. Alright, and then you can just trim that and sew on as many spots as you like in any place and have some fun with this pattern, you guys. Let me know how your mushroom hats turn out and don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video and stay up to date on all my newest patterns. And here's my hat all finished. I kind of like how it turned out extra slouchy. No two hats will ever come out exactly the same. Share yours with me on Instagram at underscore illj underscore. Thanks for watching.